So in this video, I'm going to go over the solution to question number five on page 318. This is from Nelson 12, uh, Chemistry 12 textbook. All right, so at first glance, you'll see that this is your target reaction. So this is the question or the reaction that you are trying to achieve in manipulating these formulas or rather these reactions. So upon first analysis, I thought, um, Reaction one, there must be a mistake. It's not, uh, we don't see a single oxygen atom in the target reaction. Then I figured it's probably just trying to throw you off. So let's focus then on reactions two and three, and it does actually work out. So what we'll do here is we're going to see that um, NO matches. So this in reaction number two, NO matches the target reaction, or matches the location of the target reaction. So they're both on the reactant side. The difference here is um, it doesn't have the correct coefficient, right? Um, another thing, let's look at NO2. Also, it doesn't have the correct coefficient, right? So that tells me that I think I'm probably going to end up multiplying reaction two by two. And that will look now like this. 2NO, 2O3, 2NO2, and 2O2. Um, now your enthalpy value right here is also going to get multiplied. Okay, I'm just going to confirm that value. Let's see, so it's Three nine eight, right, and that is still negative. So negative three nine eight. Okay. Continuing, I'm going to analyze um, reaction three. So I have two O three. Now I don't see that O three is in the target reaction, um, but I do see that it is in reaction number two, and I don't want that. Right, I want to find a way to eliminate the O three that is that is there. So it's on the same side as this O3, which leads me to believe I'm going to end up flipping this, right? And that would also make sense um, because that would mean that this 3O2 is going to move over to the reactant side, eliminating the O2 from this O2 from the product side, right, right here. Um, and that would be perfect because I don't see that O2 is present in my product side, but I do see that it's present in my reactant side. So that's my clue, that's my analysis that leads me to believe that I'm going to take reaction number three and I'm going to multiply that by negative one. So that's flipping the product and reactants. So I get 3O2 here, 2O3 here, and let's write it down over here. I'm going to change the sign there. So four two seven positive i'll emphasize that right the positive sign four two seven and i'm forgetting units there we go okay now let's add these together and eliminate okay so look now we have um, o2 on this side is completely gone o2 on our reactant side is not completely gone we still have one left Right, which look is what we want. Okay, what about the O3? Right, on the product side here, on the reactant side there. That's perfect, so that we can now um, eliminate the O3s. Okay, um, next. Uh, that appears to be it, right? So now I'm going to add everything I can, eliminate anything else. I'm going to add them. I'll write down whatever is left over. Let's choose this color. So I get 2NO plus the 102 that's left. And I get 2NO2. And lo and behold, it matches the target reaction exactly. Good. So I can go ahead and now add these enthalpies. I'll take out my calculator. Move that there. Twenty nine. Okay, all set. And that is how you solve.
question number five.